The story opens like this, in case you forgot. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and he said, let there be light, and there was light. And that was a phenomenal moment when that happened, because light came out of the mouth of God, traveling 186,000 miles a second. That's how fast light is traveling through the universe. And so a light year, therefore, is how far light travels in one year, and I'll do the math for you, it's 5.88 trillion miles is a light year. So as we talked about before, when you start to get around in the neighborhood of God, the mile is not going to help you. The yardstick, the ruler, the tape measure, these things are of no value in the universe that God has made. We're using a ruler called a light year that's 5.88 trillion miles long, and we're going to do it by looking at four stars. Can, can you handle four stars tonight? The first one's easy because there's just one star in our solar system and that star is called the sun thank you very much yes it's our own star if the earth were the size of a golf ball okay the sun would be 15 feet in diameter that's not 15 feet diameter can we blow that up just a hair maybe give them 15 feet diameter so if the earth were a golf ball and the and the sun were 15 feet in diameter you could put 960,000 golf balls inside that 15 foot diameter sun that's enough golf balls by the way because i know that seems like a big number to fill a school bus with golf balls could fit inside the 15 foot diameter sun it's a massive star and it's one of hundreds of billions of stars in the milky way galaxy our cul-de-sac in the neighborhood called the cosmos that god has made it's huge and we're worshiping a star breathing god tonight but i want to tell you about the second star okay it's called Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse and Betelgeuse is incredible Betelgeuse is twice the size are you ready you think I'm going to say twice the size of the sun? Oh no, it's twice the size of the Earth's orbit around the sun, Betelgeuse is. It's crazy. If the Earth were a golf ball, <laughs> Betelgeuse would be the height of six Empire State Buildings on top of each other. Now come on, have you seen the Empire State Building? You could fit 262 trillion Earths inside Betelgeuse. So if the Earth were a golf ball, that would be enough golf balls to fill up the Superdome with golf balls. 3,000 times. When I heard that as a teenager, that stumped me right there. Because most of my praying had been advising God, correcting God, <laughs> suggesting things to God, drawing diagrams for God reviewing things with God, counseling God. The third star, let's just, can you go a little bit bigger with me? The third star is called Musifi. Check it out. If the earth were a golf ball, <laughs> Musifi would be the width of two Golden Gate bridges end to end. One of the stars in the Milky Way galaxy. It's so big you could fit 2.7 quadrillion Earths inside this one star. Thank you so much. Everybody knows a million, right? How many know what a million is? You can kind of get your head around a million. Everybody? All right. You know that a billion is a thousand million, and a trillion is a thousand billion, and a quadrillion is a thousand trillion, right? And Musifi is so big, you could put 2.7 quadrillion Earths inside this one star. But it is not even the biggest star we have found. I love science. And science has just brought us the largest star they found. It's called, are you ready for this? Canis Majoris. If the Earth were a golf ball, <laughs> Canis Majoris would be the height of Mount Everest. You could fit seven quadrillion Earths inside Canis Majoris. That's enough Earths if the Earth were a golf ball to cover the entire state of Texas in golf balls 22 inches deep.
And that matters to us tonight when you hear what the psalmist said. Listen to his words. By the word of the Lord, this is Psalm 33, the heavens were made. In other words, God didn't lift a finger when he made the universe. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. But he goes on to say, their starry hosts by the breath of his mouth. This God that we're singing to tonight, he's enormous. He's bigger than anything we've ever dreamed of. He's bigger than our wildest imagination of him. We are worshiping an unrivaled, uncontested God of all kind of might and power and glory in all who is, there's none like him anywhere in all of creation tonight. We are not here worshiping some little teeny tiny God. We are the teeny tiny ones, you and me. We are small and weak and fragile and frail. We are, you and me tonight, one of six and a half billion people on this little golf ball sized planet in this massive universe that God has made. But I'll tell you the miracle of tonight is, is crazy and crazier to me than the size of any star is that though we are but a vapor, you and me, and tiny and frail, we are marked by majesty. And we have been created in the very image of the God who breathes out the stars and put the universe into place. You and I are fashioned and formed and ordained by the God of all creation. We are fearfully and wonderfully made, you and I.